I stayed in Warner Springs last night at the lodge, I think, and the weather's been terrible. It's just been raining and raining and raining, and it's supposed to rain all day today and all day tomorrow, but I just can't wait any longer. I didn't come out here to like sleep in lodges and hotels, so I'm just going to kind of press on. It's supposed to be nice on Friday, so we'll see, um, but yeah, it's just been weird. Like the like a ghost town out here. Nothing's open. Like the lodge is the only thing that's open. The community center's closed. There's like no people out. I mean, obviously we're all supposed to be kind of quarantining, which, you know, hiking's a pretty good way to do that. We're hardly talking to anybody or touching anybody and we're all in our own tents at the end of the day. So we'll see how it goes. But yeah, I'm gonna hike maybe halfway to Anza. The Paradise Valley Cafe is closed. So not sure if there's anything to do there, but I've got lots of food, so we're good to go. <laughs> You can hear when I put it down. Right, it Place sounds seven. heavy. Yeah. Boom. <sighs> yeah, they're just very large kind of chunks of snow almost. That's strange. What the idea? Right? <laughs> Snow in the desert. We must have done something right. Oh, it's crazy out there. Video clip. We decide. Um, we have glimpsed. Uh... This is insane. Yeah. What are we doing with our lives? Ah. It's just snowing everywhere. <laughs> hey. hey. <laughs> Okay, so just left Warner Springs. It wasn't really raining. It was just drizzling a little bit. And I, you know, it wasn't that cold. But as we got higher and further, um, it's actually started to snow now, which is, you know, generally speaking, not a huge deal. Um, but my rain jacket has decided to soak all the way through. So my puffy jacket underneath and my shirt and my bra are all like soaked through. Um, my rain pants are doing a good job, um, but my rain jacket is, uh, yeah, it's not, it's no longer a rain jacket, even though I just treated it with water repellent, uh, like spray, put it in the dryer, I sealed it, you know, tried to make sure I was doing all the things, um, but it is not working. So um, I'm about, yeah, just about four miles away from Warner Springs. Uh, I'm just gonna keep going, but I don't think it is very smart to keep going. I think that if I am cold and wet and soaked all the way through, it would be really dumb for me to continue um, going any further, considering that the next um, point to leave the trail is about another 15, 16 miles up. Um, so definitely not doable in a day, considering it's about one o'clock right now. Um, so we're gonna, yeah, go back to Warner Springs and then figure out a new plan, one that doesn't involve me being a popsicle on the side of a mountain. Honestly, this is all just so incredibly frustrating. Um, you know, you think, oh, you take all the precautions and you get a rain jacket and you get the rain pants and you get all the rain stuff and then it freaking doesn't work. And then you end up, you know, miles away from somewhere, soaked through, and there's nothing you can do about it. So, as much as my, you know, know my ego or whatever, my wanting to you know, continue on the trail as much as I wanted to. I don't know, my gut was just telling me that was not a smart idea. But this has been one heck of a few weeks with the you know the virus thing and the everything in towns being closed and the resupply being difficult and the hitching being you know normally difficult and this is, you know, get more gear being closed and it's just been, and then, yeah, on top of that, the rain every single day and now snow, snow in the desert. It's just been insane. And I know like there's supposed to be challenges. It's kind of why you sign up for the PCT. Like this is not supposed to be a cakewalk. 
I also, you know, didn't think there'd be like a viral outbreak and a giant winter storm that decided to push through in the middle of March. So, I mean, things that are obviously outside of my control, it's still very frustrating. I'm just trying not to be uh, a little bit heartbroken, but this just might not be working out for me. Because I, like, I just want to do the trail, like, so badly. You know, I've been planning this thing for years and finally, you know, get the opportunity to do it. And then the world turns upside down. And I don't, I just don't know what to do. And I'm very frustrated. Cross this and carry on. <sighs> I know up there it's snowing. Oh yeah, look at all the snow. I don't know if you can see. Hold on. Yeah, look at all that snow. Right where we're headed. Oh, but it doesn't make it any less frustrating to be down here and have the rain stop. Uh, sometimes the PCT is a really weird trail. It goes to some very interesting places, like under this freeway, for example. Ooh, we're gonna try and film and cross the water at the same time and not die. Oh, look at us go. Like, does that look like a hiking trail? No, it does not. Boy, but it goes over there. So let's find a way around. Or we could say my feet are already wet, so I don't really care. Let's do that. Oh yeah. Oh, that's really cold. Ooh, did not feel good. There are some wet feet now, but what can you do? There's really not a better way around. <sighs> My feet are already wet from the rain. So. I made it back. Now we have about a mile road walk back to Warner Springs. So, exciting times. Looks new. Didn't see that over the last couple of days. 